Right, so we're currently heading towards an incident on Legion Square where a tow truck driver's got his arm stuck in his flatbed whilst he was trying to load a car. So yeah, this should be interesting. Come on, Walla. Okay. Hello, what's happened? Uh, so, our arm is trapped in the hydraulic mechanism. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 in pain. A lot of pain. Okay. Nothing just keep, but pain. Just keep looking at me. Ah! Walla. We're gonna we're gonna do everything we can to help you, okay man? Right, Walla, chop the wheels, hit the emergency stop, and disconnect the battery. We'll make sure this doesn't move at any point, okay? Go ahead. Um This isn't supposed to be an easy job. What's your name, mate? Uh, Alan! Alan Collins! Hello, Alan. My name's John. I'm a paramedic. <sighs> Alright, mate. You ah, oh, sorry, the pain is very right. Okay. I'm gonna give you a little uh, something for the pain, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna put a little something in your arm. It's called a cannula, okay? Oh shit. It's gonna let. It's gonna let me give you a lot, lots of painkillers very fast. Okay. What's your name, fella? Okay. Just so we don't have to call you mate and fella. Seems a bit... <coughs> name's Alan. Alan. Okay, Alan. My name's David. I'm with the London Fire Brigade. This is my co uh, this is my colleague, Firefighter Waller. Okay? I'm going to get you out. I just need to see how much of your arm is trapped, okay? Okay. I, I can't move. Sorry. No, nope, you're good. Stay as still as you are. Okay, that's the best thing you can do right now is just stay completely still. Okay, mate? <coughs> good evening, gentlemen. Hi, Tom. <coughs> I'll let your colleague hand over. Oh. This is Alan. His arm is currently trapped under the flatbed. Looks like it's come down on top of him. Oh. Currently cannulated. I'm going to give him a drop of ketamine. I was trying to sort it out. There was a bit of an odd jam. Normal thing. Usually we can sort it out quite easily with a bit of loosing the pressure up. And just slammed down on me. Okay. Do you know how much of your arm was caught under it when it... When it slammed down, Alan. Oh, I was really in there. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's just gone. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much up to your shoulder looking at it from here. Sharp, sc sharp scratch, Alan, in your right, your right arm. Okay. Right then, bud. Bit of a silly yeah. question, right. but what's the pain out of ten? If ten's the worst pain in the world and one's absolutely nothing, how are you feeling? And I mean this with the highest respect, lad. No, no, no offense, please, but my fucking god, it's a million and a fucking half! I'm gonna draw up a bit of ketamine. Uh, Anything you're allergic to, mate? No. Any medications? No. Uh, you got any uh, medical conditions like asthma or anything like that? No. Need to be aware of. No. Okay. Oh, just oh. check the just check the date. Is that in date? Uh, yes, mate, it is. Lovely. Just seeing a look good light here, so I'm going with what I've got. Just trying to see if we can yeah. get his arm out by moving the flatbed, or if is, or if we need to start cutting things. Because ideally, I don't want to have to start cutting chunks of his flatbed away. But if we need to, we okay, Alan. Yeah, just a word of warning: this drug, it's called ketamine, is very powerful. It might make you feel a bit dizzy. It might make you feel a bit sick. If any of, the, if you feel sick or dizzy, just let us know, okay? Okay. It's going in now. Right, so it looks like. Okay, so it, so his hands, by the looks of things, he's wrapped around the mechanism itself. So it looks like he's grabbed his fingers. Now it looks like he's grabbed his, the, the tip of his glove, even, and it's pulled it in. Uh, arm isn't trapped, it's just the fingers. So we'll have to do, probably get some space with some airbags. I'll have to do a bit of minor disassembly. Might not even need to do that. I might just be able to cut, it, cut away the bit his hands trapped in and keep that there so we can be removed at the hospital I reckon is our best bet. 
Yeah. Um, if yeah, if you can see that AP where his hand is, if you see what yeah, the, yeah, the glove's been eaten by the the mechanism. It's just <sighs> taken. The yeah, it, it's taken the glove off, or it's taken the glove in his hand with it. So I can probably, yeah. if I lift, if I get the airbags, I can lift the flat of the bed itself a bit because I'm not sure we want to. Yeah, use lift it up and then. Um, and then out. cut away the bit above and below his hand, so we keep the bit his hands wrapped around itself, but just... Yeah. Yeah. So it can be a route safely at the hospital, because ideally I don't really want to do it at a scene, like, here, if at all possible. No, it's better. I don't think it's yeah, better. it's better off in hospital when they've got all the equipment. What right. was the last stops we had? Come on, Walla, let's grab some equipment. Come on, Walla. I need you to carry some stuff for me. What did I say? I need you to carry some stuff for me. Alright. Where's the airbags and the tanks that go with them? Do you want to carry those and put them down by the flatbed? I'm just going to grab some cutting equipment right. and head over and leave them. Right, well, um, can you help me? We just need to go grab the generator for the high cast in case we need them. Want to move quickly, aren't we? Just back it up. We can get inside and get. Grab the. Oh, we just grab the generator. That's what we're grabbing now. I've grabbed the sangle saw as well, so we literally just need to grab the generator for both of them. Right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, lift. Oh, there we go. Yeah, with any luck, the single should just be able to cut straight through, but in case it doesn't, I've got the hydraulic cutters, and that'll do the job easy. Right, set. It's been like this here. for about Three, a month now. Lower. Usually we have, like, a little release right. valve. Yeah. And it, it, usually that kind of... Usually right, works. The, uh, for whatever reason today, the, uh, hydraulics fucks, and just went <clears throat> right in my fucking well, arm. Fight them. Now, just grab, grab the bag, because <sighs> I need to set it all up. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I yeah. cannot wait to put this arm down. I bet you can. I'm going to put these two little bags on either side of your arm. These are air bags, okay? What okay. we're going to do is we're going to cut them up to some uh, oxygen tanks that I've got next to me. With, and we're going to use these to inf we're gonna inflate them and very, very slowly lift the uh, the flat, the actual bed itself up a couple of, uh, enough so we can get some good access and cut away the above and below where your hand is trapped. So we're essentially taking the bit of the machine which has got your hand tracked with us. Right. If that makes any sense. Right. Yeah. Okay. Just getting some observation equipment on you, okay, mate? Yeah, no worries, man. Go for it. Walla, hand me the bag so I can uh, connect the bags up to it. Where are we up? Thank you. <sighs> right. You ready, oh. Alan? Yep. AP, you ready, mate? Set. Okay. Going up on blue. Okay. Oh, Alan, this might hurt a tad, just so you know. Uh, okay, thanks for the warning. Right, up on blue. Ow. Ow. Ew, that's... Ooh. Uh. Shot for you. Okay, that's... Okay, we're going up on red. Ooh. I think he'll be able to walk. And keep his stop on red. Okay. The back and make him sit down on the end. Yeah, keep his hand above his heart. Right. Keep it, yeah, just, right. just um, keep it across his chest. Uh, Walla, ch pass me the single saw and start the generator right. as well. There's a saw. Thank you. Uh, can you start the generator as well. Right. right. Alan, there's about to be a very loud noise. And a, okay? There won't be any vibrations, but it will be loud. If at any point you want me to stop, yell stop and I will, okay? Alright. Okay, right. You ready, AP? We're going to start cutting away now. Yep. Okay. Right. And off we go. Right. 
this the top there. Just about to cut there. Okay, Alan, you're doing very well, mate. <sighs> Nearly through that's through. Right, it's the top cut done. Go for the bottom cut now. It's there. Right, start starting. It's going in. Nearly oh. there. Okay, you're doing very through. you're doing a very good job, Alan. Right, you set uh, generator off, um, Walla. Take the saw. Right. Right, here's the saw, Walla. Um, right, AP. I've got the um, I've got the bit of metal with his arm on. So if you, okay. so when you're ready, we'll very carefully pull it out. Okay. So on three, we're gonna pull one, two, three, pull. Ah! Doing really oh! well. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Doing really well. Okay, and again, on pull. One, two, three, pull. There we go. There we go. And Alan, you did a very good job. Are we getting him in the back of the box? And yeah. Okay. Do you want uh, me to put my arm in the air? Just keep it across your chest, mate. Uh, okay. We're going to get you sat in the back of the ambulance over there. Okay. Come on then, mate. Let's go. Do you want me to give him a, give you guys a hand? Or... Uh, we should be good. Okay. Should just be walking over there if we can just keep his arm up and... Keep Come on, Walla. Knock off, make up. Start packing the equipment up. Right. Come on then. Yeah, if you want to pack everything else up, I'll deflate the airbags and get that stuff packed up, and then we'll put the generator away last. Right, I'll, I'll put the saw away then. Yeah, pack everything else up and just hold off on the generator for now. Right, we're going down on red. I'm going to be honest with you, lads. I'm not used to seeing my own hand looking like that. Down on blue. Out they come. Oh, we took the grab the airbags. Uh, yeah. There's the O2. There's the bag. Yeah, that the, the ta O2 tanks came in. I've got the um, got the airbags. And then it's just the generation oh, we can go. Oh. Right, we're going here. Sorry. Right. Let's grab the jet. Grab the generator, and then we can go. Right. So, right, London, we go then. <coughs> Give me a hand with the generator. Yep. Up on three. One, two, three. Up. Well. Right. Right, you can uh, you can decap mate and start heading back to station. I'll deck police to have a start message. What a job. Hi, police. Hello. How are you? Uh, yeah, we're all done. He's been taken to hospital now. Um, I'm gonna. We're, we're, we've packed all our equipment up as well, so we're leaving as well. So should all right, cool. Yeah, once you guys are out of the way, I'll um, yeah, I'll open the back up. Patrol. Thank you. Move by boom. Three zero six two into a fast from the scene on Elgin Avenue, cross Chalk Farm Road with the arm entrapment. It's going to be stop code seven. No, no further response from fire brigade required. Our um, victim has been extricated in the hospital now and has valets.